Hey there, I'm Yannick and this is Esop Prod. Special effects on point. This week I didn't have too much time for game development because there was a lot of stuff to do for the university. In machine learning I had to train an AI how to play the one arm bandit. Well, and in empirical software engineering I got to prepare a discussion about the pretty awesome paper. Developer documentation helps developers learn frameworks and libraries. To better understand how documentation in open source projects is created and maintained, we performed a qualitative study in which we interviewed core contributors who wrote developer documentation and developers who read documentation as interesting as it sounds. But let's not waste time and get to the interesting stuff you're here for. Last week I implemented the A-star pathfinding algorithm for the flying elephants. This week I want to do the same but for the orcs. If you saw my last videos you know that the orcs before this recent update just followed the player in a straight line and attacking only in the x-axis. So you could easily exploit this behavior and the orcs weren't really a threat. And here you can see my orcs now. They are following the player and aiming with their dagger at them. And as soon as the player gets into their range, they are trying to stab him to death. I implemented the orc in such a way that I can change their appearance and their actions pretty easily. Well, let's now change this little orc and equip it with another weapon. For this, we just simply need to go to the sprite renderer and choose a new sprite. In this case, just let's um, uh, take the spear. All right, after the spear is equipped, I need to adjust the hitbox. So it's fitting the size of the new weapon and the enemy should just work out of the box. And it doesn't work. Surprise. All right, so the mistake is that the enemy is only attacking when he's really close by to the player and then he doesn't deal any damage anymore. The reason for this is that we have a collider, a large collider around the enemy that is a trigger collider and as soon as the player enters this collider then it says attack him. And the collider right now is pretty small because before I equipped the enemy with the spear he just had this small dagger and he only attacks the player when he's really close. So I need to adjust this collider for the range of the spear and then it hopefully should work fine. Let's see. Sweet, now we have a dangerous orc with a spear as well. All right, so now that this is working, let's try it with another weapon. Let's go again to the sprite renderer and choose the, um, let's say great X. Yeah, I guess this will look pretty nice. Just remember, we have to adjust all the different colliders for this new weapon. And then, since we figured out that this is everything we got to do, it should work pretty fine and right out of the box. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of working, but I get this is not how you are supposed to use a great axe. Maybe these orcs are too dumb to use it correctly, but I think it would probably be better if they are using it correctly. So I got to implement a new animation for this weapon. Yeah, I definitely got to do this. This isn't what you should do with next. Nope. For my animations, I use the Unity animation tool. And now let's create a new animation. Let's call it Orc X Attacking. I now will quickly implement an animation where the Orc is just swinging the X. And that's basically all. And here is the result. I just got included in the animator graph and it should perfectly work. Let's see it in game. Yeah, this looks much better now and it's also looking like the orc had some basic training with his weapon and isn't just randomly stabbing around with his axe. Stupid orcs. No, smart orcs, because he knows how to use his weapon. What? Now it's time to test these three new orcs in a bloody fight to death. Well, as you can see, it's pretty difficult to attack the orcs now. They, they have very large weapons and you can't really deal damage to them without being attacked. So I gotta fix this because this isn't the way the fights are supposed to be and this isn't too much fun because it doesn't require skill to kill them and the skill doesn't help you to stay alive. So there are a few parameters that I can tweak. The easiest way to adjust the behavior of the orcs is to change their attack cooldown. Currently they have a cooldown of one second, just let's change it to three. So they are only attacking every three seconds. 
The other thing that I can change is the attacking trigger. So the trigger that the player enters and then the enemy starts attacking. When we make them larger, the enemy will attack sooner and you are able to dodge them. So now that the orcs have been adjusted and handicapped, it's time for fight number two. This time the fight felt much better. The adjustments that I did were definitely correct. But you can see that there are still a lot of things that are missing, especially feedback. Let me briefly show you what I mean with missing feedback. Well, there's feedback missing when the enemy is hitting the player, when the player is hitting the enemy, explosions, gas and blood and stuff and that and, well, everything nice that makes the game more interesting and compelling. In the next week I will implement new enemies, for example ranged enemies, and also and hopefully will implement some more feedback so that fighting between the player and the enemies will be more interesting. Since you already made it this far you should definitely subscribe now so you won't miss any of my new and upcoming videos and we will see us again. Bye bye.